Kim Jong-un's sister insulted U.S. leader, old man with no future. Kim Yo-jong, a North Korean politician and sister of Democratic People's Republic of Korea leader Kim Jong-un, slammed a recent remark by U.S. President Joe Biden about the end of the regime as nonsensical. Another thing that we cannot let pass nor overlook is the fact that the chief executive of the enemy state officially and personally used the word the end of regime under the eyes of the world. The Korean Central News Agency quoted Kim Yo-jong, vice department director of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, as saying in a statement, it may be taken as a nonsensical remark, but the person in his dotage who is not at all capable of taking the responsibility for security and the future of the US an old man with no future, as it is too much for him to serve out two-year remainder of his office term, she maintained. At a joint news conference with South Korean leader Yoon suk Yeol in Washington earlier this week, Biden said that a North Korea's nuclear attack on the United States and its allies and partners would result in the end of the ruling regime in Pyongyang. The incumbent occupant of the White House reiterated that he had absolute authority as commander-in-chief and the sole authority to use a nuclear weapon. However, he said that the US had no intention of stationing nuclear weapons on the Korean peninsula. Besides, Kim Yo-jong said that the Washington Declaration that established a US-South Korean nuclear consultative group would disturb peace and security in Northeast Asia. The Washington Declaration fabricated by the US and South Korean authorities is a typical product of their extreme anti-democratic People's Republic of Korea hostile policy reflecting the most hostile and aggressive will of action. As such, it will only result in making peace and security of Northeast Asia and the world to be exposed to more serious danger, and it is an act that can thus never be welcomed, she said. According to Kim Yo-jong, who is the younger sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, the formation of the group by Washington and Seoul, as well as their frequent military exercises, destabilize the situation in the region and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is compelled to take more decisive action in order to deal with the new security environment. On April the 27th, following a summit in Washington, the presidents of the Republic of Korea and the United States, Yoon suk Yeol and Joe Biden, approved a declaration under which South Korea affirmed its commitment to nuclear non-proliferation, while the US pledged to provide information on strategic and nuclear planning. 